Now let us understand what are the agreements which are declared expressly void by law. The first of it is agreement in restraint of marriage. This point has already been covered when we were doing agreements which are opposed to public policy. We said agreement in restraint to marriage is void. You cannot have an agreement with any person in this world asking him or her to not to marry. Such an agreement will always be void. It will never be legally enforceable. That person, even after agreeing with you, contracting with you, might marry and you cannot do anything because such a contract or such an agreement will always be void. Next is agreement in restraint of trade. Like agreement in restraint of marriage, agreement in restraint of trade is also void. However, this has some exceptions like when you sell goodwill or you know when the outgoing partners or the partners leave a partnership firm, the partnership firm might impose some uh, restraints on them in terms of trade as like not to trade within a particular limit or not to trade in the same line of goods for some period of time or not to uh, capture the clients of the firm. So these kind of limitations the firm might set. Otherwise, all agreements in restraint of trade are void. Next is agreement in restraint of legal proceedings. Agreement in restraint of legal proceedings is also void. You cannot hurt or bring hurdles in legal proceedings. You cannot just withdraw or not appear in an legal proceedings when you are summoned or when you call. You have to cooperate. Or you cannot bribe someone and ask him not to appear as a witness. This all would be like hampering the legal proceedings which is not allowed. Any such contract with anybody which hampers legal proceedings which does not allow the legal proceedings to function in its due course would be void. However, there is one exception to this as well. It is the contract which in which the parties refer their case to arbitration. When the parties refer their case to arbitration, such a contract, though it hampers legal proceedings, is valid. It is valid because the court on the contrary supports such contracts which save the time of the court because you are saving the time of the court and trying to solve it out of the court with the help of an arbitrator. This is done, this is done. Agreement, the meaning of which is uncertain. The meaning of which is uncertain. What do you mean by the word uncertain? Uncertain means it is not clear. I say it is not clear or not specific or not definite. Something which is not definite, not defi uh, specific, not clear is uncertain. You do not know what the exact meaning is. I'll, I'll just give you an example to explain this point. I employ a housemaid and I tell her if you do all the household course for me I'll give you some money she agrees to this so we have an agreement and if we have an agreement we also have a contract amongst us don't we or do we no why no it's because it is not clear how much I am paying her. I said if you do all the household course for me, 
I'll give you some money. I'll pay you some money. Now, what does some money mean here? Some money might might mean ten rupees for someone. For some other person, it might mean one thousand rupees. For a rich person, it might mean a lakh of rupees. And probably for Mukesh Ambani, it might mean a crore of rupees. So, is it is it clear here? What does some money mean? So when I am making a statement, when I am making an offer, which states like uh, in the which is uh, paraphrased in this fashion, like I'll give you some money if you do all the household chores for me, it will not constitute a contract because. The meaning cannot be derived from the contract. The meaning cannot be extracted from the contract. What does some money mean? Here? That some money has to be definite, has to be specific, has to be clear. It has to be certain. So when I say to my housemaid, like if you wash my utensils, if you wash my clothes, if you broom my house i'll give you 2000 rupees per month and then if she agrees then we have a contract here because it is pretty much certain in the contract what are her roles what does she need to do in the contract and what do i need to do in the contract she needs to do uh, she needs to wash my utensils she needs to wash my clothes she needs to broom my house and I need to give her 2000 rupees every month. So now it is pretty much clear here. Nothing is uncertain. Everything is certain. Everything is definite. Everything is concise. Everything is clear. Everything is specific. So such a contract would be valid. However, a contract where the meaning is uncertain will not be valid. I'll give you one more example in this regard. Let's say I come to your house and ask you to give your house on rent basis to me. You have kept your house for rent. So I come there and I tell you I want your house for rent. But I tell you that I'll pay you 10,000 rupees every month if you handsomely renovate your house you say handsomely what does that mean here handsomely is not defined it is not defined as as to if you have to renovate your ceiling if you have to renovate your walls if there's any leakage there or you know if the color is gone or you need to furnish it you need to get some more furniture in or you need to do the tiling work. Handsomely decorate is very much uncertain. You cannot extract a meaning from it. What does this handsomely decorate mean? So such a contract will always be void. Because how much ever you decorate it, handsomely for me might mean that might be different. Handsomely for you might be different. Handsomely for some other person might be different. So handsomely decorating it might never be possible for you. As far as the meaning of handsomely decorate for me is concerned. How much ever you decorate it? Tomorrow I might come to your place and say, oh, it is not handsomely decorated. So who decides if it is handsomely decorated or no? Nobody gets to decide. So, such a contract would be void on the grounds that the meaning is uncertain. We move ahead. The final agreement here is in this list is wagering agreement. What is a wagering agreement? We see. 